This is the Field of Play. On this week's episode, we bring you Tichiman 11 Wonders. 11 Wonders, Victory and Nishanawi. Inanama, Inanama. 11 Wonders, Victory. Everywhere. Field of Play is proudly brought to you by Tell Us All, Just a Touch. The club owner is called Nana Amiyamanu. The club started from Tribodom, a nearby town from Tichiman. It was called Santos by then. They were promoted to the top flight of Ghanaian soccer for the first time in 2017 after finishing in first place in Zone 1 of the Division 1 League. After he had brought the Berlin FC, he changed it to 11 one days. Nanami Amanu, despite his business prowess, was also a former footballer. And at that time, he also played for the old, old 11 Wonders. The 11 Wonders was an existing club, or it has been an existing club. But they also went into soccer dundrums. At that time, they were competing with Holy Stars, which went to the former Division 1 Elite League. It pleases his heart to rekindle the death spirit of 11 Wonders. On two occasions, at my, as my staff as a team manager, um, we were at the eve of qualification, but unfortunately, uh, we could not qualify. We came back in the 2016-2017 season. That time, too, we were at the eve of qualification, but um, um, something that we can't talk much about it came in. Uh, then we, we lost out. At that time, the only thing I can remember was that there was constant changing of technical hierarchy. Their first official Premier League signing was veteran defender Idris Uyaya. In their first top flight match, they held 20-time champion Accra Hearts of Oak to a surprising 1-1 draw. A very vibrant board for the club. The club is made up of um, nine prominent people in the, in the, in the Techema municipality here. Few that I can mention include um, Professor Kunfi, Amir Kunfi, who happens to be in charge of Ghana Infrastructure Fund, um, Nana Funanketia, who is Chafuahini of Tesimine Traditional Area. Um, we have uh, Omai Hine's representation, as well as um, GIFAS group of companies, their director, uh, Nana Kenten Hine, too, is there, and few youth energetic people who also have interests of football at heart. Tichiman Eleven Wonders is the only premier division club in the Bono East and even the whole of Bono and Ahavu region. We are now representing the Bono or the Bonos in the Premier League. Um, I wouldn't say that all things have been racy for the club. We have our ups and downs, but I'm thinking now for the people that we have brought on board, um, this club will be a great club. Um, we are trying our best. We've made few signings in the second window to bolster our, 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 our team. So all in all, what I will say is that 11 Wonders has lived for the last five years or six years. And um, it has not been bad for them. We are hoping that they can move on to the higher highs in football. My name is Albert Kome Aite, the CEO of Tichiman 11 on this football club. I'm 53 years of age and um, I've been a football administrator for some years. I started with Arsenal Folk as a public relations officer, a deputy public relations officer and also the deputy administrator. In fact, um, the greater part of my administration, I learned a lot of things from Mr. Ashwate Toku, the then admin manager of uh, Accra House of Folk. From there, I went to do some courses with uh, Winneba and then moved to Mediama SC. I spent two years over there and then I was the vice president of the club in charge of football. I'm Ignacio Sesepusi, Kwame, from Mkranza, Kranta. I live in Kumasi, Alliance's A coach. 
10 years ago. Liberty professionals, uh, Somalia national team U15 and U17, and then 11 wonders. I started with a, a Division II team in Kumasi called uh, a body. I think in um, 2011, up to date, I'm still the attacking card director. Then from there, uh, I moved to Right to Dream Academy in 2014, 2015, 2016. Then from there, I left to Liberty. So in the 2017 league, I was Liberty's head coach. I had a break for eight months, then left for Somalia in 2019, January. Came back in 2019, September, and took over 11 Wonders job. And then we won the FA Cup. We were also third on the league. Um, I left that place to Indiana where I spent close to six years. I won the league with them, went to Africa, um, the Champions League uh, preliminaries, and then we dropped to Confederation where we qualified to the league stages. Let's pause for a commercial break. We'll be right back. Do you hate buffering? Then get yourself Telesol Broadband Internet today and enjoy fast, reliable and convenient broadband internet That's all in the comfort the of your home. Telesol, Telesol, just a touch. There's a man, a journalist called Sometime. In Kumasi, at that time, he used to be the host of Kesvin Sports in 2006, there about. So, we were watching a the game. Then, we were, as usual, as football fans, we were passing comments. So, he looked at me and he asked me if uh, I wanted to be a coach. Then, I told him. But then he's the one who encouraged me that I could be a coach. So he actually went to do the inquiries for me, and then he pushed me into coaching. I was on my way to uh, Doma to look at my private business, and then I had the call from the FA president that uh, Levin Wonders wanted me to help them. If I was the initial struggles, I accepted to come and see the situation. Uh, when I came, I realized that they had wanted to sell the club. Due to that, they couldn't uh, do pre-season. And if you, a club does not do pre-season, it's very difficult to normally put teams together. So I accepted the challenge. Uh, but then this coach, uh, for months, who was in charge. I realized that the materials at the time was also not good. So I need to go to dreams and also appeal to them for this to give us players, which they did. In fact, we were able to put up a team. And we're not doing bad little, so the league was truncated. In Ghana, I have a Didi Draman. And outside, I, have, I had Asne Venga. But clearly now, I don't have only one. Every, every other coach inspires me. Being a young coach, being a top class coach, it all inspires me. A job of passion. If you don't have passion for it, you are not likely to like the job. I think people do not understand the work of a coach in Ghana, which makes it very, very difficult. But you've got to have a lot of passion for it, otherwise, 
along the line. Uh, it inspires, uh, I think my, my love for the Ghanaian game and, and, and want to stay in the game always inspires me most. Uh, and because it's, it's a team from my area, you know, I hear from around this side. So once they gave me a call, I said I could also give back to my community. And that's how I accepted the job. My ambition is to finish in the top four. We have always said that uh, when you look at the, the, the strength and the kind of players we have, we should be able to play in the top four. But we want to take every game, game after game, and see where we'll be. But the ambition is to play in the top four. We look at our youth side, because when you look at the enclave of uh, Techiman, Kintampo, Granza, and uh, its environs. There are a lot of talents that uh, if indeed we're able to position ourselves very well in the future, we will be able to produce players into the market. And that is our target. If you look at, we have augmented goalkeeping defense because we brought a most in. In midfield, we have brought somebody in and in attack. But clearly, everybody knew our problem is scoring. So we had more attacking players coming to the team, more than any other department. It's been not too bad, because just as I said that, once you sign on to this job, you have to also understand that there are some certain demands that you have to go through. And there are things that, uh, once you sign on to coaching job, it becomes normal, like insults are normal. But my relationship have has been quite cordial. Some love me, some don't like me, but it's, it's general in life. You cannot like every, everybody. As compared to other leagues, I think I've, I've been in Somalia, I've been in Eritrea before. Uh, in terms of uh, standard of play, I, I think we are up there. The only other aspect is the publicity, which for me, this league has had much more publicity than any other league I've ever competed in. So we, we are getting there, we are not there yet. I, I do not naturally want to compare it to the Europeans because you, the English Premier League was started some way, way back here. So uh, we are coming back, but for me, standard of play has been very, very hard. On this segment, we have a challenge for our players, the Target Striker Challenge. The players have three chances to hit the target. At the end, the player with the highest accumulated points wins. Oh, that was a close miss. Oh no, he missed. Yeah, into the top corner. Yeah, he got that one. Come on, try again. Over the bar. Great shot. One more to go. Oh dear, what a nervous. He hit the bar. Over the bar. Oh no, he missed. Oh. He hit the bar. Over the bar. Over the bar. Is it going in? Oh dear, what a nervous. Oh no, he missed. And he misses again. Over the bar. Oh, he hit that one. Oh. oh no, he missed. And he misses again. Oh. 
And the winner is Alexa Samoa. Do you hate buffering? Then get yourself Telesol Broadband Internet today and enjoy fast, reliable, and convenient broadband internet Gosh, all in the comfort here. of your home. Telesol, Telesol, just a touch. Uh, actually, I started my football career at Adenta at the coast level before I moved to Republicans at Medina. And from there, I moved to Kachima and Eleven Wonders. Uh, my personal target has always been playing at the top or the highest level at Europe. Uh, I started with uh, BA United in uh, 2014. After BA United, I went on to play with Karela. Uh, I played two years with Karela before going to Sky FC. After Sky FC, I moved to 11 Wonders. Uh, the big support that they have for me during and after uh, every game or uh, every training session we always have. To play and to put the team in a good position before moving to any club of my, my wish. Okay, my role model, I can say Arturo Vida is my role model because I used to watch him every day. As a central midfielder, it's my target for us to play at the top four. Okay, I'm always grateful being part of the national team. I mean the national under 20, AFCON, and I'm a, I mean, a medalist, a winner from Wafu to the AFCON. Uh, it's for now I would say it inspires me to move forward it also makes me understand that if I work hard I can get more my target is to play uh, and go and play outside Ghana uh, especially Europe that's my target I support Chelsea coach Moreno playing uh, rice and still, my favorite team in Europe, I say Chelsea. I like enjoying or uh, listening to Popcorn from Jamaica. God, you alone. God, you alone. See, I mean, I can't sing much, but I used to enjoy it. Uh, hope and pray uh, from Obrafo uh, and Sapode for Helen the Ebeba and Mama Wabemu. In a pity, my work, mom. The order no win out to young coupons. I didn't have one. They really. What I'll tell my supporters to keep on praying for us. Uh, they should always have hope and faith in us. And we will deliver for them, inshallah. My name is Makati Ofori, a member of the National Under 20 team and a central midfielder of the Chima 11 Wonders. Keep watching Food of Play. Moya Jeng. This is the Juggle Me segment where we select three people at random and ask them to juggle our football. The person who keeps the highest touches of the ball wins. Keep going. Is it going to be our winner today? Now I wonder who's going to beat that score. Wow, it looks like we have a pro here. Wow, it looks like we have a pro here. Oh, that was close. You almost had it. Oh dear, that was too short. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we have a winner.
Do you hate buffering? Then get yourself Telesol Broadband Internet today and enjoy fast, reliable, and convenient broadband internet fast, all in the comfort of your home. Telesol, Telesol, just the touch. Hello, this is Pastor Eric. I am here to invite you to our annual flagship conference, Prophetic Destiny Summit 2021, from Sunday, 29th August to 5th September. This year's conference is very heavy. It promises to be a moment in time, a moment of birthing, a moment of prophetic input and apostolic push. So get ready to receive prophetic impartation and destiny transforming teaching throughout this conference. Ministry in this conference are my good friends, Reverend Biodu Fatoibo of Kosa Global, based in Abuja, Nigeria, and Bishop Alan Kiona, Jubilee Christian Center, Nairobi, Kenya, and my good self. The dates once again are 25th August to 5th September at Poppy Harvest Temple at Juringano, East Legon. Weekdays at 6 p.m., Sundays at 7 and 10 a.m. I guarantee that your life will never be the same. Prophetic Destiny Summit 2021, fulfilling destiny. Don't meet me there, beat me there. On this week's episode of Veterans of the Game, we talked to a former player of Accra Hard to Fall. Your name is Mr. Stanley Mason Tete, a founder of Juvenile Football. That's normally known as Coles Football. And my mom called this place is called Kokwai. We are and sisters. My family are one white and six children, three girls and three boys. Okay, I was, uh, I was saying, all the three boys, but I told them they should follow my footsteps. My exactly 2000, yeah, 2000. And I joined a class of hope. That's the year. That's the year they won the Champions League. Now Hartzadok on the counter attack again. Still Hartzadok. Surely this is a chance now to wrap it up. This is it. I thank God always for what we have done in my life. For being part of the team that won 2000. That was the Champions League Cup for Akras. Okay, I think some of them call me Jackie Chan. They said because of normally when I'm in the midfield, I used to play character. I said, no, no. Chapter O supporters, they call me for schools. I appreciate it because really, for school is my mentor. Also, I've been saying this. Across of, I think, um, seven to eight years I play across. By then, um, during 2006, 2007, I traveled to um, Qatar and I came back. For and I, I then travel again to the same country. There, after that, I returned. I went to Art of Lions. Then I also went to Tajikistan to play very small. Then from there, I came back and started my coaching career. Yeah, I'm Uncle Amriku, Ishmael Aru, Charles Taylor, Don Bote, Emmanuel Seyoku for Cup scene. And then, I mean, those who won the Cups, those who won Cups for Cups of football. If you said about coaches, the best coaches, then I'll mention not only one, I'll mention about three or four. Jones, I took with you, oh what, has been, been beat me in the class of hope. But then it's, it was coach J.E. Sapo, who discovered and coach Atuamon once in the Dewey on stage. Because I was then a, a schoolboy and he scout me from, we play a Milo tournament final against Cowley at Akras for Stadium. And he, he was there with the Dewu Chama, Mr. Setiwa, salute him. But then Kotoko was chasing me, Mr. Ebert Misa. He, he changed Ghana football, especially the players. How a player being signed, huge money, involved, what So in, what he told me, my, my sign of is there, he will give me one car. You see? <laughs> so <laughs> my wife is an Ashanti. So imagine. A club from Ashanti, also a big club, Kotoko, was chasing you. your husband. Was always she was disturbing me. Oh, daddy, why don't you go to them? They are ready. I said no because you are Ashanti. That's why you want me to go. One day my coach called me. He said no, Aja, you have been promoted to a Premiership. I said why? How can I play a Premier? I've been standard age. He said no. Now you are registered player for the youngsters. So <laughs> he sacked me, and I joined the. One day I was with them with the training grounds. They bullied me. I said, hey, 
Hey! Especially at Benedict. They were sharing some envelopes. Brown envelope. I said, and they called my name. I said, I just get I said, come. I said, what? And the secretary gave the money, their envelope to me. I opened money. I said, hey! So here, yeah, if you play football, you'll be paid. I said, that was uh, our Confederation Cup. I played against um, Kumasi Asanti Kotoko. As of folk were down, and God so good, I was the one who equalized for class of folk. Uh, that match against Kim Faisa, I think that might even we even lose that game. And the same game, the game I got injured. It took me about three weeks out of football. I had a crack here. Yes, but I also remember there's a certain guys who uh, Kim Faisa. They are my worst midfielders. I don't want to play with them. When I'm always playing with them, I find it difficult. We call him Kojo Popu. Most I played uh, most of the national teams. The under 17, the 20. I, I played the qualifiers and by I was not able to go to the World Cup. It's normal. That one is under this coach, Italian coach. Uh -huh. Those I was a part of the team that represents Ghana, a class of folk team that represents Ghana against Nigeria. We play along with uh, the Okocha, I respect him, JJ Okocha, Sando Lise, Nwanku Kano, Terrible West, may he so rest in peace. Arose, Arose, is it there about the song, the Never Say Die song? See, that, that song when you heard it gingers. They have as soon as they hand, they then you had it with it. Solo no ne ho I feel it. That song by the that that's for the uh, chapter O fans. They will song then they will hand up with a no a no a. You see that thing gingers a lot. Whenever we hear that song, they assign own fee and salary structure because you know maybe not all of the players will go to professional. So some of them will play the local. They can also use that money small to build or do uh, put up something. When they are out of football, then they will never care football. The grassroots world, that's the most important thing about Ghana football. There will be era where most of players will fade up, that will depend on the grassroots. So whereby we don't nature them well, feed them out the right food to play. Uh, I have an academy called Ajate Sokakana. When you come to our academy, we, we can even hold your leg to teach you the right food to play. Normally, we train on Saturdays at Dansoma behind Liberty Professor. Only Saturdays because we want young ones to go to school. Visit our social media pages at Field of Play GH on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Send us messages on all our social media platforms till we meet again at Salavista. Vista.